Greetings, this is instructional video one, and it is for the first part of your dream board uh, my life plan presentation, which focuses on your goals. So feel free to pause the video at any time and replay it because there is some great information in the video about the format of your presentations. Now keep in mind, after viewing these two videos, you will have a better understanding of what is required for your recorded presentation. So first we're going to take a look through the goal setting PowerPoint together. We have just covered your values with the Rutgers Values Assessment and hopefully your goals will align with your values from that assignment. And we want to establish your goals to establish your My Life Plan. So we're going to get started. So we have been covering some tips on success in units one and two, and we want to make sure that we um, are looking at your vision of college success, which includes your own values and goals. These are not going to be someone else's goals for your life. For example, if your parents are nurses and they sent you to school to um, become a nurse, but the job that you want is something else, maybe they want you to become a nurse because it pays well, but you have another career in mind. This is an example of a great career. However, this is not a goal or career that was created by the student. And so therefore, this would not be a good major or goal for this student in this example. So you just want to make sure your success and your goals and your values are all lining up and there's something you've actually chosen for yourself. So most students say that at the end of uh, college, the end goal is to get that, you know, get that good paying job. And of course, there are plenty more goals that you can have beyond that. So we're going to take a look at that. You just want to make sure that your vision and success is entirely your personal vision for your life. Having um, these goals helps really to keep you on track and stay motivated. Um, it also is um, what going to be, these goals are going to be stated in your creator mindset. So they're going to be definitely positive and definitely, um, you know, positive and created by you. They will feed into really building your self-esteem and your self-confidence and um, even just a positive attitude overall. Uh, being that you'll take responsibility for them and they're personal to you. So again, we're going to operate from that creator mindset. So this tends to help students stay motivated and not let life get in the way of their success. So keep keeping that in mind when we're about to create these goals is important. So all this leads to your um, strategic plan. So um, this is really like a map to let you know where you're headed in life. And you want to start with the end in mind, meaning that you want to imagine what kind of life would you want for yourself and would you want to work for um, and even work your way backwards from like your goals in order to get there. You want to reward yourself along the way for achieving these baby steps. You want to link realistic short-term goals to mid-range goals to long-term goals to stay motivated. And if you have doubts along the way, um, I would just say know that everybody has doubts and that you can set out to achieve what you set your mind to, even if it takes longer than expected, uh, especially for the returning student. You know, this is normal. For students returning to school, rest assured that your real world experience is definitely a valuable asset to your appreciation of college and overcoming obstacles because that's a part of life and being successful. So we want to make sure that, um, you know, again, that your goals are in line with your values and um, that we don't want to lose motivation uh, in trying to reach our goals. And once our values connect to your goals, then you connect your career and major to your overall goals as well. For example, if your end goal is to become a successful entrepreneur because your highest values are independence and challenge, then maybe your major could be business and you could start taking an introduction to business course next semester, right? So making the connection from the courses you are taking to your end goal in life is a great way to stay motivated through these tough times in college. Always remember, though, be patient because life is a process. So now we come to our goals page. This is very important. So if you want to pause this and, you know, uh, copy this down, that'd be great. When you do your presentation, all your goals will be in DAPS format. They will be dateable, achievable, positive, personal, 
specific and they will have a monetary value which means that you would um, add up the cost of the materials to reach that goal so for example I will graduate from come to college with my AST in psychology by June uh, let's say 2018 and the monetary value for this goal would be a approximately $2,000 considering tuition and cost of books. So this is a DAPS approved goal. All your goals in your presentation will be stated in this. I will then be very specific about what you will do by give the month and the year and then state the monetary value. So now um, we will talk about some time frames for our goals. These are three time frames that we will use for your goals for this assignment. They are short-term, mid-range, and long-term goals. The short-term goals are things you could do this month or next month. Mid-range goals are things you can do this semester or next semester. And then long-term goals are things that you can do over a year from now. And again, everything will be in the I will format. So here are some tips for life, really. So stick with people who are going in your same direction, you know. Those are those like-minded individuals. Don't get stuck in the mud with your goals. They can be flexible and not set in stone. Always be persistent, like the grit video talked about, over a long time frame to reach your goals. Monitor your progress and reward yourself for small achievements. Develop good study habits, consistently meet your goals and your deadlines, plan ahead, and don't be afraid to try new things. And I always tell my students to continually take a step in the right direction. This will ensure that you finish what you set out to do, and don't worry if it takes longer than expected. That's what we call life. So let's talk about categories for your goals. There are so many goals that you can have besides graduating, and we're gonna take a look at those because we already know that you wanna graduate. No one starts college to just up and quit, right? So there are artistic goals, like for example, improving maybe playing an instrument for yourself, right? Um, there are obviously um, uh, career and educational goals, even attitude goals, like improving self-improvement. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, family goals, like starting a family, or goals like saving money for your children to go to college one day, which, you know, is a financial goal. And then there's goals like physical goals, maybe, um, health achievements like gaining muscle or losing fat at a healthy rate. There's always recreational goals like traveling or taking a vacation. And lastly, there are public service goals like things that would give back to the community like starting a group home or um, starting a homeless shelter. So those are categories of goals. I would just want you to realize that there's more goals besides education and career. So for this assignment, your lifetime uh, role, purpose, and goal is very important. That's your life RPG. It's important because you'll have to state it in your presentation. So your life role uh, will be uh, basically your occupation. So for me, that's like a teacher. Your life purpose is generally going to be what you give from your occupation. For me, I like to think I give education or basically educate and inspire, right? I like to think I could give that uh, from my occupation. My life goal, I would like to think, is... Uh, generally uh, like a world changer. I would say that I get to feel like a world changer because I think I can make a, um, a difference in the world one person at a time by shaping the lives of my students. And you know, that brings me happiness. And in this lines up with my values and that makes this career a good fit. So you want to state your life role, purpose, and goal in your presentation. Um, so now we're going to proceed to the second instructional video, which goes through the documentation needed to complete your dream board oral presentation.